What's going on everybody? Welcome back to LIH Studio. This is Sam. Today we're taking a look at how to make this InDesign document that we worked so hard on and turn it into an online flipbook that you can show to anybody that you want. Let's get started. Before we get started, this is the numbers from last time. This is the numbers from this time. Uh, honestly, this time the numbers don't even add up to 100%. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but help me out and click that subscribe button. All right, guys, we're here in InDesign. This is my design portfolio that I used for an employer. I want to make this onto an online platform like Issue and make it have a flipbook effect. What I'm gonna do is use their plugin. So I'm gonna go up to Windows and then find extension on Exchange. It'll basically bring up a website for us to do this on and it's gonna be the Adobe Exchange. We're gonna make sure that there's no filters and I'm just going to go ahead and search for issue. So that is I-S-S-U-U, hit enter. And you can see it's the first one here. We're gonna click right into that. Usually here it says free, which it is. Uh, you're gonna hit okay or click on that so that it is in your Adobe Creative Cloud. You can see I already have acquired it. Uh, what you wanna do next is go into your Adobe Creative Cloud and just hit install. Now make sure that your InDesign is actually closed. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this when you're installing this, but go ahead and hit install. Just wait for it to install and I'll see you back in InDesign. Before we move on guys, I just wanna mention this video is sponsored by Issue, uh, which is the online platform that we are using in this video. And it basically turns your creations in InDesign or any of your PDFs into online flipbooks that people can flip through and it's super interactive. Honestly, this is what I used when I was trying to get a job. And I would honestly say that it helped me get a job. I was able to publish my portfolio online and we actually flipped through uh, with the hiring managers and they were pretty impressed with it. Not to mention some companies now only look for online versions of your portfolio or they need a web link or a browser link in order for them to actually consider you. So issue is super, super useful in that regard as well. I honestly enjoy this product and I would definitely, definitely recommend it to anybody that's going through this process. Uh, but without further ado, let's get back into the video. Now that we're back in InDesign, all we have to do is go up to Window again, go down to Extension, and here it is, Issue, Publish a Document. We're gonna go ahead and hit this, and it's gonna bring up a window for us. Now, make sure you connect your Issue account here, and it's going to load and basically try to upload this onto their platform. Once we see this window popped up, we can go ahead and go into Settings, and since we're not doing a promotion or marketing catalog, we're gonna change it to editorial, which is more magazines and books. Leave everything else should be okay. And we're just gonna go ahead and hit publish now. Now, make sure you check this box with the content right. And we're gonna go ahead and confirm and publish. Now you can see that this is already published. We can get a nice preview of it. If you just flip through it, this is our flip book, which is great. And what we're gonna do is actually go do opening a publication on issue. So this will basically bring up a website on issue that shows you that this is the document itself uh, on the website. Now, what I really like about this plugin is that if you make any changes to your actual portfolio, for example, if I wanna change this to red, I can simply go ahead and save this file, then go back to the extensions issue. So it'll give me a preview of what this looks like before uh, and then I can simply click publish the changes. So it'll help me basically make this red. Again, clicking onto this, and if you hit confirm and publish, it'll basically update that on the website as well. Super cool. I do also wanna mention that most of the things we're using in this video are completely free, but if you want to have detailed statistics of who's looking at your portfolio or magazine, where, when, and why, as well as embedding videos. I have a discount code for you to upgrade to the premium plan, and that's going to be LYH Studio 25, and this only applies for the annual plan. As an example, I brought up a document that I uploaded a couple of days ago, and you can see things like statistics, so you can see things like when people are reading your documents. This is pretty useful if you upload your portfolio for employers, and you wanna know who's actually reading your portfolio and looking at it things like which page they're fixated on and where they're reading it. So here I have three from Portugal. I know exactly who this is, but for you, it could be super useful to know where people are reading this and super interesting. You can also do, do things like sell, even order printed copies of your portfolio straight from issue. Uh, you can also do things with social media. This is just a super useful tool if you wanna get a more holistic understanding 
of who's looking at your portfolio in addition to it being a great online flipbook that you can walk through with anybody. Okay, now that we know how to do this with the actual plugin, I also wanna show everybody how to do this the good old fashioned way without the plugin. It's super simple. All we have to do is export this as a PDF and we're gonna change this to PDF print. Go ahead and hit save and make sure this is the most important part of this, of this step is that we're exporting as pages and not spreads. So we're gonna hit export and then just do anything you need to get that actually exported. Then we're going to go onto the issue website. And when you log into your account, you'll see this. You can either upload a file by clicking this or drag and drop. For the sake of this example, I'm going to go ahead and just drag and drop my document straight into issue. And you can see that it's going to upload and a similar process will ensue after it uploads. We're greeted with the exact same interface where we can flip through our flipbook and we can also do things like change the publication title. Um, so for example, if we want to do something like that, we can do that, but everything else is exactly the same. The important thing to remember here is that none of this is actually published yet. This is simply a preview. You can change the description or whatever you really need. The other difference is instead of the plugin automatically updating the updates for you, you're going to have to re-upload anytime you make any changes. We're going to go ahead and publish. And if you just, again, confirm and publish, we don't really need to review our articles right now. So we're going to go ahead and publish without review. And there we go. We have our publication live here. This is the link that we want to copy if we want to show anybody our uh, design or our portfolio. And that's it. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful and you guys have learned something new. If you did, don't hesitate to leave me with a like and subscribe. Um, I hope you all the best in your online footbook adventures and I'll see you guys in the next one.